God bless you. You are welcome to this channel. My name is Emmanuel Oye, the director of Parable's channel, Oye Emmanuel. We appreciate you for watching our movies. And please, we would like you to please subscribe if you have not done so. Subscribe and press that red button called notification bell. It will alert you when our movies come out. Then, like and share with others your friends and your family so that you can get to watch this edifying movies that you are watching and lastly comment we appreciate you it will encourage us more thank you for staying tuned we love you god bless you we also want to appreciate those of you calling us to support us with your money and gifts the lord will reward you and replenish you abundantly in jesus name thank god for your lives See the way you beat your wife. This is not commendable at all. But it is outrageous and outlawed by the civil law. Moreover, it is not commanded of God in any marriage for any man to beat his wife. Oh. This is completely disapproved of God and condemnable. Pastor, you don't know my wife. Ah, you don't know my wife? Yes, I don't need to know your wife. I don't need to know your wife. All I'm telling you is that this is extremely off base. It is not commanded of any man to beat his wife in the marriage. You are only commanded to love your wife as Christ loved the church, as it is written in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 25. Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. Simple. Sir, even if she's very disobedient, lousy, unsubmissive, and does shameful things that embarrasses me in the neighborhood. No, sir. Still, you still have to love your wife. As Christ loved the church. Hmm. Oh yes, I understand what you are saying. But beating her like this is not the correction or the solution needed. Husband, love your wife 
as Christ loved the church. Never experience this. Women can have mouths that run extremely junky, continuously fuming and talking actually to a man, the head of the family. Ah, no, sir. Yes, you are right. That is the nature of some women for a man to make do and manage. Yes, sir. That is it. You just nailed it. Such women deserve to be beaten, disciplined. And taught good lessons of their lives. Never to rant and talk actually to a man again. Nonsense. Says who, Mr. Alislava? Says who? There is no illustration of such in the Bible. Let us be a practicing Christian if you profess to be one. Pastor. Pastor. I regard you a lot, sir. Uh, yes, thank God for that. But with all you do now, you are practically disregarding me. But can we just really put aside all this? God bless you, God bless you, deceptive Christianity. I'll be practical, yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir, do you realize some women have mouths that can run a man really insane and crazy? With the manner in which they use their mouths and misuse a man, some of them have unbridled and uncultured tongues, even though they appear as saints in church. Sir, those kind of women should be disciplined, beaten and properly trained for their behavior. And I don't think God will ever condemn a man for doing that. My brother, you have simply, properly, and reasonably expressed out loud what is obvious and not justifiable. Look, according to the Bible, the Bible told us about nagging and irritating wives. He never told us to beat them. The Bible even showed us about women who are possessed with demonic spirits. It did not say beating them will chase out the spirits out of their lives. And the Bible told us about some women who are malevolent, very diabolical like Jezebel. It did not say beating them will make them become who we want us to be for us as wife. So, where did this your own as example that you are, you are, you are quoting? And God not give us wife to be beating them and I believe no reasonable man should do that either sir you won't believe it she pushed you to the floor oh my god she pushed you to the floor too yes Jesus were you able to find her she had found me and I, I couldn't catch up with her. Anyway, I know her very well. I know her parents and their house. Don't worry. We will get her eventually. A parental look on the kiss on. How are you and your family? We are good. We are all good. Thank you. It's only a quick one. Would you be available to join us at um, Mr. Tujimole's house? Today? Yes, today. Uh, I've called my wife already and we are heading towards the place now. But I don't want to go there alone. What is the emergency for? What? What did you see? You had me where? And that's exactly where we need to 
go there now. I will, I will meet you there. I will meet you better. I will meet you there. Thank you, sir. There? Unbelievable. What is it? Any problem? What happened now? I was told that a pastor was slapped. Holy Spirit. Huh? What could have warranted that? Ah, this is truly an emergency. The elders need to take this on. You know the most annoying thing is that I was told that a, a young girl from our church slapped the pastor. What? A pastor. In our church? A young girl? Ha ha. Who in this world lacks respect? For the anointed one like that? I'm wondering, though. Know. However, maybe our, our pastor deserve what he got. No. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Even if the girl is possessed of something, uh -uh. no one should touch the anointing of God or do his prophet's arm. Whatever, whatever. I, I, I just, I just, but you see, let's get there first. Then I can also register my tongue then. You mean perhaps our pastor is the blame worthy one? Whatever. You see, let's get there first. When we get there, I will register my thoughts. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Dear, you disappoint me. Our pastor is a true man of God. He is not immoral. He wouldn't put up with any nonsense. Yes, see, there nobody can say. You you know, the Bible talk about the, the event of the end time, and we live in a crooked and a perverse world. You see, Mr. Litlapa, when you see a man beating his wife, it means that man lacks wisdom, honor, and respect for women as we call vessels. Such men may not work with God, and in the end, they may not even enter into heaven at last. Except they repent and apologize for such inhuman, godless, and, and, and condemnable acts. Okay, sir. What exactly does this Bible tell us to do? You are right now. God bless you. The Bible commands us. Do you have your Bible there? Uh, I have Bible on my phone. Okay. Open first with chapter 3, verse 7. First Peter 3, 7. Yes. Can I read? Read, read. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life. That your prayers be not in that. What did you get there? Number one, deal with them with knowledge. Number two, deal with them as a weaker vessel. Number three, you are both ears of the grace of God, ears of the grace of the kingdom. And number four, so that your prayers will not be in that. You are right, sir, but it's obvious she's the one that's been dreaming my prayers. It is because you two are not being dealing with her with understanding. Because if you have been dealing with her with understanding and knowledge as a recovery, she will not be ending your prayers. It is vice versa. You must have understanding of yourself. It works better both ways. You slapped a pastor. You slapped a pastor. What were you thinking about? What happened? Oh, oh pastor, let's see. He no roll. He no shelle. Baby, sorrow. Talk to me. Who is there? Who are your wizards? Come, come, come. Talk to anybody. Hello, 
money. And please, I need you in my office. Very urgently. What happened? There is trouble. Trouble? Yes. Please come to my office as fast as you can. I will explain everything to you. Telling me what happened when I ate the knock. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. That's good. Yes, sir. <sighs> Devil is a liar. Over my husband and ministry. Yes, they yes. will say lie. They will say lie. <laughs> yes. They will say lie. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 They will say lie. Yes. They will say lie. They will say lie. Who is this girl? Has a pastor prayed for me? Place his hand on my head and on my shoulder. I felt safe. But all of a sudden, I fell and I blacked out. When I regained consciousness, he was beside me saying, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Then he touched my head again and my chest before he tried touching my breast. Mm? Breast decay. Bolu oting paro. I didn't teach her to tell lies, did I? No, no, no. 
Polo, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Okay, okay. Just tell us the truth. Nobody will chastise you. Abby, Daddy, how do I wonder. We will not beat you. <laughs> the pastor was only conducting a deliverance for you. And you reacted to our pastor great and very heavy anointing. Maybe it was the strange spirit within you that made you to slap our pastor. So, I don't have any strange spirit in me. And, and I do not ask for prayer or to be done. Bulu, what is it? Uh, then, tell this sitting, why did you fall under the anointing? I can't explain it. I don't know. You see? You see? You see? You said the pastor prayed for you and you fell under the anointing. That shows how powerful our pastor is. Yes. Buluwatife. We have known our pastors for years and he wouldn't do what you are saying. Young girls like you are full of immoral acts these days. So don't use your seductive nature to bring down our pastor. What will your little breast do for him? <laughs> do you know we've been following this pastor for years without any incident like this happening? How can we believe you? For Christ's sake, our pastor is married to a beautiful woman yes. without any record of being unfaithful or immoral. So now, Tell me the truth. Who sent you? Nobody sent me. Yeah. Hey, so of me. Calm down. Just calm down. Ah. Calm down first. You see, madam, I must confess and tell you the truth. Your mouth is too sharp. A good woman does not talk to her husband in that manner. Even Sarah, our mother in the Bible, call her husband Lord. If you cannot call your husband Lord, don't call him a madman. Speaking and talking rashly to a woman makes him go wild. Hmm? You see, the Bible says a wise woman builds a house, but the foolish one tears it down herself. Which one do you want to be? A good woman or a foolish woman? I pray you not be a foolish one in Jesus' name. Amen. So, you have to respect your husband. Come what me. Just see the way you brought this unnecessary bit into yourself. I must be sincere with you, madam. Your mouth has caused this unnecessary battling. If you don't know how to talk to your husband, who is the head of the family? The representative of Jesus Christ? Or can you speak or talk to Jesus this way? If you cannot talk to Jesus Christ this way, you are not supposed to talk to your husband in that manner. Our husband is the head of the family as Jesus is the head of the church. We women we always forget it. Now, let's go and beg your husband. With all due respect, this is a small girl. She's just 15. She can seduce a man of God. I beg your pardon, too. Madam, you don't know what these young girls are capable of doing nowadays. They are the ones seducing men of God everywhere. Not my daughter. She's not part of them. Please. She's young and naive. And why would she even want to seduce the man of God? She may be young and naive. Yet she knows how to slap a man of God. If your daughter can seduce a pastor, or she doesn't have any immoral things in mind, why did she go to him? Why did she go to the man of God? It seems like she has a seductive Oh spirit. no, please. Please. Madam, is there more to this issue than how you are facing it? Why is she talking this way now? 
My daughter does not have a seductive spirit. She is innocent. She's a good girl. I'm well brought up at that. You may never know. Maybe your daughter is possessed without your knowledge. And you know, maybe the, the, the strange spirit in her may have made her to slap her beloved pastor. And besides, why did you even go to pastor for prayers in the first place? I want to try to pray because of my exams. And the pastor said I should see thereafter in his office. I'm not initiated or possessed, and I don't have any strange spirits in me. Daddy! Mommy! See, I would rather die than live with this woman again. I don't want her again, and that's final. You will not die, or live to fulfill the purpose of God. What is the purpose of God? Your wife is part of the purpose of God. See, let me just die and go. So I won't have to come back and live with this woman again. I'm tired of her. If you go to fire, don't go kill yourself. You go straight to hellfire. Hellfire? So where have I been before? She's smart more than hell for me. So going there is nothing new. Are you kidding me? Are you really suggesting that you prefer to go to hell than to forgive your wife who has promised to change? Okay. Change? This one? Change? Oh, can somebody just find me something to just give myself and just go and live? Why will you do that to yourself? Mr. Lislava, sorry. Sorry. This is not true. This is really not true. It is me speaking, sir. Mr. Samson and Eslapa, you know daddy. Nothing's wrong with me. I know what I'm doing, sir. Nothing's wrong with me. Mr. Eslapa, something is wrong with you. And I bind and cast out that spirit speaking you in Jesus' name. Hey, hey. Okay, Polo. Tell me the truth. Were you conscious or unconscious when you slapped the pastor? I was conscious when he touched me the first time. But I thought it was a mistake. Then he touched me again the second time while I was trying to sit down. He was facing me with a smile, asking me how I felt. Then he died touched me again the third time. And he said, Bolu, do you know you are no longer a little girl? At this point, I said, no, sir. You are touching my breast. And he laughed and he said it's not big deal. Ah, our pastor said that. Do you know it's wrong to lie against the man of God? And we all know that all liars will go to her. Daddy, I'm not lying. He told us never to lie under any circumstance, even at the gunpoint. When the pastor kept touching me, I remembered what my mom said about anybody trying to molest me. That I should slap him or kick him in the ground and run away. So that's why I slapped the pastor and I, and I ran away. Ah, brethren, this is still very hard for me to believe. Send me out again. So madam, you are the one teaching your daughter to slap the man of God. It all due respect, madam. I did not teach my daughter to slap the man of God. I only taught her the necessary things and measures to take when she's caught in between molestation and harassment. And I didn't even know your pastor will be, will be one of the victims. Okay, now that your daughter has now slapped the pastor, how then do we deal with this? must be very, very careful not to raise our hand against any man of God. God give us Christian oh, oh where the Bible is love and trust, oh where the master with is his source, 
Oh, crown with beauty, your love is wrought. God give them Christian oh God give them Christian oh God give them Christian oh Oh, where the Father is true and strong. Oh, where the feet will blight of wrong. Oh, that I judge us with true and song. God give them Christian home. God give them Christian home. God give them Christian home. Oh, we are the mother is carrying guests. Try to show others your way is best. Oh, we are the Lord is an honor guest. God give them Christian oh God give them Christian oh In Jesus name we have prophesied Amen Yes, I have phone. Okay. Oh. Hello? Ah, Pastor Mrs. How are you doing? I'm not feeling fine, sir. Is your husband alright? I'm calling as regards him, sir. Yes. Hey, what happened to your husband? Your guest left him, sir. <laughs> And that same Jesus will come very soon. Are you prepared for eternity? Even if you spend 100 years on this earth, eternity has no end. And so my brothers, my sister, the Lord Jesus Christ is calling you today. Come to him and accept him as your Lord and Savior. And he will save you. Jesus Christ is coming soon. He's coming back again. The Lord is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. The Lord Jesus is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. Accept him today. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. The Lord sent me to you. The Lord said you should draw nearer to him. The Lord said he loves you. He also said to tell you to stop sleeping with another man's wife. The Lord said that to you? Yes. Which Lord? When and where will God send you to me? Did the Lord even know me at all? Yes. <laughs> the Lord created everyone. Get away from me! I don't have to call the police on you. What's your problem? Police? You get me arrested for telling you the gospel truth? Oh, yes. I will call the police on you now if you don't get away from here. Ah. Do you even know who I am? Yes. Do you really know who I am? Yes. Yes. This is who you are. Daddy, this is a shame. Ebi Ray. Daddy, Ebi Wa. Ebi Ray. Didn't you say the family members and the elders who investigated the matter are waiting in the boardroom? Yes, sir. What do we do now, sir? Let's go. Let's go and face them. Just be calm. 
and be truthful. At this point. <laughs> yes, sir. Holy Spirit, please help me. Help me, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You are welcome once again. Thank you, sir. I am Pastor Kubelebi. I'm your pastor, family friend, and fellow minister. Just as introduced. And I'm here to assist with the situation because of it. I appreciate all the church elders have done to manage the situation and the cause at its source. However, I will shock you all by saying the young girl is innocent. Ah! You know what? She is innocent. Uh, please, please, sir. Um, I, I want to hold this for this that we should give our pastor chance to say a few words in this matter. What do you think? You are right. Well, he will do that. I only did this to spare all time of needless verbal exchange. Pastor, I want you to speak to your church members and elders as requested. Just to clear the doubts. Hmm. for your life, for believing in me. I know that you have strongly defended me in this situation because of your complete trust in me. Everyone, I want to apologize for failing you hmm? and the church at the same time. This young girl here is truly innocent. But I am the guilty one. I am sorry. Sincerely, I'm sorry. My flesh won over me and prevailed. I am sorry, please. Ah, you're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much for honoring this invitation, sir. Sir, I am the owner of this building by the grace of God oh. and all its apartments. Wow. And whenever I let it out, I always investigate whether the tenant is a Christian as a way of thanking God for blessing me with this building. But I was deceived by your member. Who told me he is born again? I gave him a form which your pastor duly signed. A form? Yes! Yeah. Signed by my pastor? That is right. Yes. When did that happen? About one and a half years ago. No. No. I wasn't aware of that. My pastor had never signed a form for anyone renting a house. So who signed for him? And at the same time, immediately he moves in. He started bringing in different types of women. I called him and counseled him. Now, he promised that he would change his ways. Okay. But unfortunately, he has polluted my house with immorality. Sir, I have Christians of different tribes, backgrounds, and denominations living here. Even people of other religions who lives here, move to their own houses, and they never give us any problem. But it is worrisome that your member has behaved differently, despite the, the care and the love that we showed him. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. 
What do you mean by the flesh? Can the flesh use a man of God who is displaying great power and anointing of the Lord? The flesh can use anyone, Christian or not Christian alike. The flesh does not discriminate. The flesh? Yes, the flesh. Yeah. Do you think the devil appeared to our Lord Jesus Christ when he came to test him? No! The devil used the flesh to test our Lord Jesus Christ. But our Lord Jesus Christ one, I pray for you, you will always win the battle of the flesh in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Moses could not enter into the promised land despite a tremendous work and sacrifice for the Israelites because flesh prevailed over him. He could not conquer his anger. What about David? was under the influence of flesh by sleeping with Uriah's wife and killed him in the process. Thereafter, the Lord punished him and rebuked him for doing that. Flesh. Still, I pray that flesh will not overcome you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. That is how he speaks and talks to cover up. There is a lady inside. Brother. Mommy, you go in and check. You will see that there is a lady inside. Brother. Pastor, that is how he speaks and talks to. To cover up as if he's praying. He's not... No wonder people say your song is only interesting. But no longer it is inspiring. How can you be living this kind of life? And be singing inspirational songs. Shame on you! Shame on you! Can you imagine? Shame! You get it, you get it, you get it. You get it, you get Can you imagine? Jesus. No, 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 don't become. Mommy, what did you say? Brother of Sir. Why are you doing this? God has blessed you with a good voice to sing. But this your lifestyle shows you lack character. You lack godliness and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Speaking in tongues, but not speaking the truth. Using anointing to promote morality. No wonder people say your song is only interesting, but no longer inspiring. How can you be living this kind of life? And be singing inspirational songs from God. And it's why the church is going to be in the world. It's why the world is going to be there. Hello, Reni. It's why the world is going to be Jesus. However, on behalf of all the elders of this church, I want to suggest that our pastor should step down for some time. At, at least for some time, like a month. So that he can be able to, to get himself and deal with this flesh of a thing. Dicky, do you mean our pastor should be suspended for one month? Yes, Dicky. Anyway. It's just a suggestion so that we can preserve our altar mm -hmm. and our pastor can be able to regain himself. Mm -hmm. You are right. As elders of the church, you can suggest that even if you call the suspension, 
It is welcome. Actually, I have told him to excuse himself from any church activities for now so that he can go on personal retreat to go and wage war against flesh that is troubling him. Sir, you mean spiritual warfare against the flesh or the devil? For, because the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, beginning from verse 12 downward, it says, For we wrestle not against the flesh, nor the blood, but against principalities and powers. No, I, I, I can't, I can't. This thing does not hold on that, Pastor. Yes, Dickie. That one refers to human being, flesh and blood. You don't fight them as real enemies. But flesh in this context means enemies against the will and the wish of God. It is an enemy in your body whose work is to ridicule, disgrace, and bring you down before men and destroy your relationship with God. The flesh is controlled by the devil and the devil uses the flesh in mankind against their will and the wish of God. That is the flesh we are talking about here. Excuse me, sir. Is the flesh powerful enough to cover someone's face, not to know a young girl? Madam, I have seen the activities of flesh using men and women of dignity to do mercy things around, to bring them shame and ridicule in the society and in all walks of life. Mm. So, the flesh does not discriminate. The flesh can ridicule and bring anybody down. Anywhere. You don't underrate no joke with the flesh. No, you don't. The landlord has finally exposed the brother. Hey! They reported him to the church and they investigated and found it to be true. I just pray that the Lord will encounter him through this exposure and save his soul completely. I pray. My sister, I pray so. May Calvary. Not to be in vain over his life. Ah, amen. Ma, at this point, we need to come together. Let's agree together and pray for him so that the Lord will break him and remove him again. And that is exactly why I want to see you. No problem. That we can agree together and pray for him. Amen. That God will deliver him from the worst of the flesh amen. that is dominating and controlling his life. Amen. No problem, Ma. Take care. Take care. At this point, I think Bully can excuse us in this meeting after she has been, you know, vindicated and also cleared on this matter. Or what do you think? Before that, I want to thank you and us once again. And on behalf of my husband, I want to apologize to the young girl Buluatife and the parents. Please forgive my husband. We are very sorry for indicting your daughter. Please, we are sorry for the inconveniences this has caused you. And I think it's also right for Bunu Atife and Kotsi demand that she apologize to her pastor for slapping him. Exactly. You are very right. And I don't blame this young girl. It is the mother that is teaching now to be slapping people. Oh no, Dickin. Don't let us generate animosity because of this again. I don't blame the young girl and the mother. It is necessary for self-defense. Rather, I blame our pastor who allowed himself to be controlled by flesh to do this irrational thing. However, my young girl, who do I You still need to apologize to your pastor. Please do that. I'm very sorry, sir. 
stubborn as pride, hunger, hatred, fornication, adultery, cover ups and lost. Who will rescue me? I don't want to end in there. It was a rush of life. How will I be free when we discover from the power of the flesh? Except Jesus, in fact, through the power of the cross. In the, yes, a lady was with him in the house, almost naked. She covered herself with a blanket as a as a rapper when we got there. In fact, it's a shameful thing from the leader of the priest team. I still found myself wondering why some of our brethren will be behaving like this. Pure in the church, polluted outside. Saints in the church, but sinner outside. Decent and diligent in the church, but dirty and defied outside. Spirit filled in the church, but sensual, fielding and canal outside. How? Oh. It's okay. Give him a suspension letter from all such activities he's involved as a leader. Then, tell the disciplinary committee and the council committee to take his matter up and cancel him okay. accordingly. Then, let him go and meet the prayer squad team. Let them draw up a prayer program for him, which he must attend for one month. I pray the Lord will deliver his soul and I'm also upon him. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. My regards to your family. How was it? Uh, see, there, our pastor is guilty. What? Our pastor to a young girl? Tell me. This is disgusting and disappointing. Yes, why are you disappointed? You see, because I've gone ahead to accuse the late, the young girl of seducing and telling lies. You know, I, I, I thought, I even went ahead to call her names. Like, probably she's um, you know, uh, possessed and all that. Yeah. Ah, there is terrible. No? This is unbelievable. Unbelievable indeed. Sweetheart, if you see what this year has had today, my hair had a lot of things, but the only thing, the only respect that I passed on hand for me today was that he told us the truth. I'm telling you. Wait, what's wrong? What was pushing me? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah? Huh. I, I'm far down. Let me just go and rest. It's been a long day. Thank you. Bonnie, you have lost in your eyes. Yet, you can't tell me so as to fight this together. You allow the spirit of lust to grow in you to an extent of leading you to a, a small girl of your daughter's age. Yet, you didn't inform me so we could fight it together. Huh? I am very sorry. I'm very sorry for the shame and disgrace that I've brought upon you. I don't know that this will bring me to disrepute. Before this young girl, I am very sorry. Lost is not automatic. It grows day by day in the eyes and mind. You have allowed it so much. You have given it more ground to lay hold of you. It means you'll be lost in after all other girls or women before it got to this day of embarrassment for you. No, it's not like that too. I have not been lost in after anybody. In fact, I don't know how this one got to me. It was like something was pushing me. Immediately I sighted this girl. 
look at you. Where is your spiritual sense and sanity? Something was pushing you. Or your flesh wanted to punish you. Because you have been obeying its commands through loss. You better confess now. Before I hear another scandal. Because this will make people to say what they know. Ha, Oni. How do you mean? There is no other one so. I am not as bad as that. It's just that this one broke my defense. In fact, I am ashamed of myself. I don't know how I'll be able to stand and preach before the congregation. I don't even know if this girl and her family will ever respect me again. Ha! I am finished. You just knew. You have finished the day loss began operation in your life and you refuse to tell me. Pastor! Oni, I am sorry, but it's not easy as you think. In fact, I will have told you, but I was scared, I was afraid. That you will look down on me and despise me. Look down and despise you. Why? Who doesn't have a weakness? It's just that some are hidden and some are not. Whichever way, we will have fought it together to defeat it. Now, what you are afraid of? If you have informed me, you wouldn't have brought this open disgrace and embarrassment to us. A problem share is a problem half solved. I am sorry. Only I am deeply sorry. And even you can tell me, what about your senior pastor? You should have someone to confide in. And if your prayers are not enough to conquer the flesh that push you to, to, to lust, I would have joined you in prayers. What I love to do, I find difficult to do. What I hate to do is all I do. The more I try to tame it, the more it manifests. I tried all I could, but he conquers every day. The, the flesh. flesh. My dear. The flesh. All that happened today still looks like a dream to me. You are not in any dreamland. That is life for you. You see? This life is spiritual. Spiritual? Yeah. But the pastor is a spirit man as well. Yes. One can be a spiritual person. But the moment you allow a bit of the flesh to control you, it becomes a battle. And the flesh is always an enemy to the spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 8 says, so then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But why? Romans chapter 8 verse 5. They that are after the flesh, mind the things of the flesh. And they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. The flesh can make you react to things that should be easily overlooked. Flesh can make you misbehave, irritated, and even irrational. Flesh can make you to descend so low to inconsequential matters. Flesh can make you puff up, bringing yourself so high and proud above others. When you begin to see lust in the life of anyone, then you know that flesh is at work. 
Yes. Like what happened to our pastor? What? Pulu is a young girl. I'm okay, Karen. <laughs> but why would the pastor allow flesh <laughs> to take over him? <laughs> this matter dazzles me. I don't know. Flesh is no respecter of any person. It is after flesh has dealt with you that you can have your eyes opened. It's only the sensitive one that will know that when you begin to see someone getting angry without limits or shouting at the top of his voice, then you know flesh is at work. Mm. When you see hatred, revenge, unforgiveness, then you know the flesh is at work. All this indecent dressing that you see across the streets, on media, and even in our churches, it is the work of the flesh. A right thinking person will never display her cleavages and Botox for any other person to see, if not flesh displaying stupidity. That's true. That's true. <laughs> May God have mercy on us all. Amen. <laughs> I thought he said he has the power of God and anointing more than you do. So, why did you go and defend him before his church elders? So you have allowed him to face his consequences. Mommy. Daddy. You see, that is left to God to decide. One thing I know is this. Tomo de bala shobiagba. Kule lakisa biagba. Moreover, there is space in the sky for everyone as we have got to explore. Would you be a little fool? Life for a pora. I can still remember. It is still very fresh in my memory when he said his ministerial operation has taken him to his next level. That is no longer in our level again. So, his ministerial operation has changed and changed him to lost after a mocker career. A small girl. A small girl for that matter. So, someone that has anointing and power of God still lost after a small girl. Ah! So don't have even go and defend him before his church elders. You should have allowed him to learn his lesson. So that he will never boast of anointing and power of God before senior ministers. Ah ah. Mommy. Tao bag bag bro ano. Aun re bere ni ba shire na o. Eyin gan lo ye ke lo yi ara yin wo. You need to check yourself. You need to check yourself. It means you still have unforgiveness and hatred towards him. Ah, mommy, forgive. Forgive and let go of that matter in your heart. It, it, it's obvious you are still aborting hatred, unforgiveness, and revenge towards him. I pity you because of the day of rapture. The Bible says, two shall be on a bed. One will be taken and one will be left behind. Luke chapter 17, verse 34. How will be taken? Okay. With what you have said now, can't you see flesh speaking through you? God will help me. Amen. Why did you go on reporting me to my pastor? Because to save your soul so that you will not perish. Save my foot! Uh, I did that because I love you. Love for God. Even as Jesus loves you. <sighs> but you said the Lord did not send me. I'm sorry. So, what did the Lord say will happen to you? Ah, the Lord said you will die. Ah, please. Help me to beg God. I don't want to die. Ah. 
But why are you afraid of death? Oh. Eh? Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be because I'm going to be All you need to do is to give your life to Christ and surrender to Him. Are you ready? I, I can repent. Okay. okay. But to surrender my life to Jesus and be born again yes. is what I cannot do. Ah. But why? Because a lot of those who claim they are born again, yes. they have betrayed and disappointed me. So I vowed mm. never to have anything to do with Jesus mm. again. Never. Mm. But, but Jesus never disappointed you. He loves you still. Despite the fact that you have vowed not to have anything to do with him. He said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus is also the way, the truth, and life. He said, whosoever believes in me will have eternal life. Now, he will ask God to forgive you because you don't know and you don't mean what you say. Sure. Yes, sure. Jesus Christ has paid the price for your sins. Hmm? He's the one that died and paid the price. All you need to do is just come to him and say, Jesus, please save me. I have come. Jesus, please save me. I have come. Hmm. I don't want to die. Jesus, I Let give myself to you. From now and forever you are my God You want me cause you died for me yeah, yeah. On the cross you won it all Lucia, what's wrong with you? You don't look too happy Mommy, do you think the pastor will ever forgive me for slapping you? Uh -uh. Yes, now. Why won't he forgive you? You have apologized. I think he should forgive you. But why do you ask? Because my friends, they mocked and they make jest of me that because I'm naive and a virgin, that's why I slapped the pastor instead of allowing him to touch me and do whatever he wanted. Come, come and sit down. You shouldn't be working with those kinds of friends, those kind of friends. Who are those your friends? Ah, Those your friends are immoral. They're not the kind of people you should be working with. No matter what or whoever it is, how anointed the person is, whether the person is an angel or not. Nobody is permitted, any man or boy, none of them is permitted to touch you. Do you understand? Yes, but... Oh, mommy, is it true that virginity is not as important in our age as in the time of Mary, the mother of Jesus? Oh, important, Pa. Very important. In fact, if there is any, any other word like important, it is very important. Don't you think it's because Mary kept herself? That God allowed Jesus Christ to come through her. She's a pure vessel. If she had done like every other person that does not cherish virginity, would she have been talked about today? If she had not kept herself, she would have just been one of those many people in the Bible. But she stood out. She stood distinct because of that. And another thing is, you are growing. Whatever you listen to, there's a way it sticks to your brain. Whatever you watch, there's a way it sticks to your brain. So you really need to be careful. You need to see the kind of things that enters through you. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. And again, there are liars and confusionists out there that their target is your age group. Some will say, <laughs> because you are a virgin, that that's why you're having menstrual pain. Have you heard that before? Yes, ma'am. Is a lie from the pit of hell. It's not limited to girl alone. When I was your age, 
Some of my friends told me that as a virgin boy, you always have a stomach ache because of SS farm storage. I tell you, it is all a lie. We are your parents and we cannot mislead you, okay? Except I give the flesh, I can't please God. Except I give the flesh, I can't please God. Break me, Lord. Watch me, Lord. Except I kill the flesh, I can't please God. But daddy, the way you normally shout at us sometimes, is that not flesh too? No, it's not flesh. Sometimes children who stumble, and when you shout at them, they take you serious and do the needful. Okay. It's okay? Okay. It's okay. God bless you. Amen. Yeah, let's go and prepare food. Thank you. Daddy, I want to ask you something. Can God still use our pastor again? Yes. God will use him again. But why do you ask? People are castigating me, saying I'm the one that made it for. No. You are not the one. The pastor failed because of his inconsistency. He fell because he had lost a name that he can't control. He fell because he allowed flesh to push him to you. It's not your deliberate attempt. It's just that he was exposed through his unholy advances to you. But he has confessed to God and the elders and God has forgiven him. That's how God is. When you commit any sin and you quickly run back to him, he will forgive you. Hmm. God is good. And merciful to those who confess their sin and forsake sin, but to those who hide and cover up their sin, it is punishment. Hmm. Don't ever hide or cover sin. Open up to God. He will forgive you because he is a loving God. You remember the prodigal son? Yes. His father forgave him and embraced him. And he even celebrated him again. And that is God for you. Okay. I will never try to commit sin or cover it. But that is, do I have any strange spirit in me? That is the question I will need to ask you. Is it true that you have any strange or evil spirit in you? No, how will I know? Anyone who has strange or evil spirits in him or her, we always know. Do you always see yourself with strange people of your age when you sleep? No. Do you always have evil intention in your mind towards people? No. Do you always sleep in an abnormal way? No. Then, the answer is no. Since you have given your life to Christ, you have the Spirit of God in you. But Daddy, why did I fall when the pastor was praying for me? Hmm. Anything could have happened. Only God can explain that. The pastor is anointed. So, God used him also. But does anointing make people fall? Yes. No, it all depends, but not all the time. Wait a minute. The pastor was under the influence of lust when he leaves on you. Hmm. Hmm. Henceforth, don't allow anyone to lay hands on you again. Okay, daddy. But why? The pastor was under the influence of loss when he lay hands on you. The spirit of loss can be transferred onto you unknowingly if anyone in sin or 
having strange spirit lays hand on you. The sin in them or the strange spirit in them can be transferred into you unknowingly. Anyway, let me pray for you and neutralize any strange spirit. In the name of Jesus, Father, arise. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, arise. Kill my flesh. Revive my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, we need to pray for our pastor. Our pastor must not fall. Yes, amen. We need to rise and pray for him. Let God and deliver him. Amen. See, let me tell you. No one the flesh cannot use. There is no one the flesh cannot control. You don't understand. See, there is no one the flesh cannot manipulate if your life is devoted to fleshy things over the spirit. But not up to using a man of God to a young girl. I'm still wondering. Oh, you don't understand, my sister. See, that is why it is called flesh. Flesh can make you do something unreasonable and unimaginable. What? Just to make the victim a useless person. See, my sister, I have witnessed the flesh use a man of dignity to become a man of disrepute. Yes, so what are we talking about? That is why you must not underrate the influence of flesh in any man. Because the flesh is capable of doing anything. Mm. Anything? Anything like what? My sister, let me tell you. See, I have heard stories of company CEOs sleeping with fruit vendors on the streets. Mm -hmm. Not just that. I have also heard of senior pastors of churches sleeping with their cleaners. <laughs> yes! All of this of course because of flesh. Their body being in control. Mm -hmm. But then, we thank God pastor didn't go that far. Thank ah. God. Hey, so we need to pray. Thank God. I now understand that women are not used by the flesh as it controls the men. No, my sister, you are getting it wrong. <laughs> Says who? In fact, it actually uses women and the ladies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, when you observe someone always winking at another person, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the work of flesh! Mm. Or you witness someone spending more than 30 minutes before the mirror just to get dressed. Mm. That is the manifestation of flesh! Mm. Let me tell you. See, when you see someone always dressing to kill, revealing their contours and shapes for everyone to see, that is the work of flesh! Mm. Not showcasing new clothes, walking about during church services, that is the manifestation of flesh. Mm -hmm. More to that, when a sister is visiting a brother alone, mm -hmm. a sister visiting a brother dressed carelessly and seductively, mm -hmm. looking for whom to tell it. Mm -hmm. My brother, that is flesh. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, excuse me, mm -hmm. sir. Hey, brethren, are we here to discuss what happened to pastor? I'm, I'm and pray, I'm pray for him. Or we are here to talk about the work of the flesh. Why not let's go to what we came here for? Yes, you are, you are right. My we need to pray. Yes. yes. We need to pray. Yes. Now, brethren, say after me. My father. My, my father, father. Deliver our pastor. Deliver our pastor. Begin to pray.
my spirit. Kill my flesh. Kill my flesh. In the name of Jesus. You are tormenting me. Yes. I am tormenting you. And I will continue to torment you. Leave my life alone. Enough is enough. Yes. I will go. But I will still be very much around. Around? Around to do what again? To see when you will be weak and be distracted again. You know that the flesh is not far from you all. Carnal tendencies live in you all. And my mission is very simple. Just to end the intimate relationship with God and eternally deny mankind the kingdom of God. <laughs> my case is different this time around. I will not allow you to ever put me to shame in the public glare again. No, that can't be possible. I will not allow you to hinder my cordial relationship with God again. And I will never allow you to deny me the heaven at last. Hear this. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. The life that I now live, I live in faith through the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. I will rather die daily than to allow you, Mr. Flesh, to take over again this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You cannot defile it again. This is not the first time I'll be hearing this. You have said it before, several times in the past. This time around it is different. I hear this. Anything that wants to defy me and this temple of the Holy Ghost will be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh ye Mr. Flesh, in the name of Jesus, I drive you out of my life as smoke is driven away by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus! Father, thank you. Thank you for this divine visitation. Thank you for this victory. Thank you for giving me this great deliverance. Daddy. Daddy, you are welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. I heard about all that you did, the way you mobilized the youth to pray for me. Yes. I appreciate you. God will continue to support you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Battle of flesh will not prevail over you in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. My wife, my wife. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Ah, God will bless you. Thank you for taking good care. My God will take care of you too. But you once said that I'm a good for nothing woman. Me? Yes. When did I say that? <laughs> Maybe my head was not correct that time, Neil. How will I say that? You that are not just good. In fact, mm. you are beautiful. Eh? Yes. Beautiful? Yes, you are beautiful. Ah. <laughs> but you once said I'm as ugly as crocodile. Ah! 
I said I want to. <laughs> of course now. How can I compare you with the crocodile? It's obvious something was wrong with my head when I was saying all that. My head cannot be correct and I'll be saying all that now. Mm -hmm. Can I call you a crocodile? Hey. <laughs> you see, see, let's just forget all those things. Eh? Mm -hmm. Don't remember them again. You are not just beautiful. In fact, you are very, very beautiful. Let by God be by God, eh? Let's just start a new life. Eh? My wife, my wife. Thank you. God give us grace, let no. Daddy. Hello, Pastor Kashora Awolumate. Hello, Daddy. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm doing fine, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for your support. I just returned from the retreat, and I've checked you in the office, and I was told that you are out of town, sir. God bless you, sir. How is your wife? She's fine, sir. Pastor Kashora, now that you have been restored back, you really need to be very careful and spiritually vigilant. Always watch and pray. And not only that, make sure you keep your heart with all diligence because out of it are all the issues of life. And as much as possible, in all you do, seek purity and pursue it. Pastor Kashwara, as a man of God, as much as he lies with you, do away with immoral and ungodly content. They are such that defiles the heart. Not only that, try to die daily to the flesh so that you always be in the spirit to serve the Lord. Subdue your flesh and die daily. Hmm. Pastor Kashara, can I shock you? And if you care to know, Pastor Kashara, in this end time, Devil Joker is what? Is lost. To pull down men of God through indecent dressing, anger, masturbation, misbehavior among members. Yes, I know now, sir. And other vices penetrating to the church like canker worm. Go help me. Pastor Kashora Lo Awolumate. Ejeka Mashora. Yes, sir. Kadema Badura. Amen, Daddy. Thank you so much, sir. There is a longing in my heart for more of you. Come, Jesus, Jesus, come and feel me all. There is a longing in my soul for more. Jesus, come and feel me all. Feel me all. This vessel cry. When you come, the flesh will die. There is a longing in my heart for more of you. Jesus, Jesus, come and fill me up. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up. This vessel cry. When you come, the flesh will die. There is a longing in my heart for more of you. Jesus, Jesus, come and fill me up. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up. This vessel cry. When you come, the flesh will die. There is a Welcome.
Welcome to the Parables channel. I want to appreciate you for always watching our films. Though, if you have not subscribed, you have not done wrong, but it's never too late. Subscribe, press the notification bell to get notified of our films. Moreover, like, comment, and share so that your family, friends, and relatives can get more of what you are getting. I have subscribed. Have you subscribed? God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.